Hi, everybody. All right, um, I got a text from a number that I didn't recognize. It came through, and all it said was, hey, Mark, it's Jolene. I'm a Dolly Parton fan. <laughs> I didn't even see the hey, Mark. I just was so excited. I wrote back, all caps, Jolene! <laughs> so excited. And then I saw that it said, hey, Mark. And I'm not Mark. Although I do sometimes get mistaken for a teenage boy. <laughs> what I should have said was sorry, wrong number, or maybe nothing, but I was in a weird mood. <laughs> so I wrote back, what's up? <laughs> Immediate dividends. Nothing much, just eating some cake. Those are exclamation points. How are you? Feels like we haven't seen or talked to each other in forever. I'm a smart ass. So I write back, forever is exactly how it feels. <laughs> but then I think if I'm going to do this, I need to inhabit the character of Mark. I need to become Mark. I have nothing to go on but pure instinct. And I write back, what kind of cake, lol? <laughs> Jolene writes back, ice cream cake, hard eye emoji. I know, I don't even know the last time we've seen each other. So now I'm starting to get a feel for Jolene and what she's all about, right? She seems kind of stupid. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, who's that excited about cake? Like emoji excited about cake. I go, ice cream cake, that was a curveball, because it was. I didn't see it coming, Mark didn't see it coming. <laughs> cake, you think chocolate, you just think chocolate, right? Carrot, if she's over 65, maybe, <laughs> maybe. You excited to start uni? Oh my God, how young is Jolene? <laughs> it hadn't even occurred to me that I could be writing to anyone younger than 27. I look a little younger than I am. I don't know how old you think I am, but I'm probably older than you think I am. And if you want to know my secret, it's this. Unresolved childhood issues. <laughs> Just keep them in your heart. They're very moisturizing. <laughs> so she said, you excited to start uni? Excited, but a little nervous. Oh, look at Mark being vulnerable, honest. He's growing as a character. There's a whole arc here. How are you feeling? Fully expecting her to write back about uni, the topic at hand. She writes, I'm feeling a lot better. Not in any more pain, except when I expand my mouth. <laughs> yeah, we can just all go ahead and have this thought for a moment. <laughs> Mark was not about to pick up that thread. So I just hit her back with some classic Mark stuff. Maybe don't expand it, lol. Glad you're feeling better. Thanks, what have you been up to? Guys, it didn't feel right that I was doing this anymore. It started kind of fun and now I was feeling bad, so I wanted to get out of it. I waited until four in the morning <laughs> and then I wrote, nothing much, just kind of feeling bad and confused. I should have told you when you texted. Wrong number. <laughs> I know. But then I put three dancing lady emojis for a bit of flair. <laughs> and I know you didn't like the way that I did that, but please know, I was not trying to be cruel. That's just the way that it came out. And if you're worried about Jolene, don't be. Jolene being Jolene wrote back, confused about what? I know what I did was wrong, but at least now it's over, okay? The mask of Mark is lifted. I am free to be myself, Deanne Smith, and I write back as myself, confused about it all, Jolene. Who is Mark? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> but most importantly, what happened to your mouth? <laughs> what do you 
mean my mouth? You said you have pain when you expand your mouth. I'm worried about you. No, I had a surgery to get my tonsils out, so it's not completely healed yet. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Did you get my text saying you had the wrong number? No, dot, dot, dot. Wait, yes. This isn't Mark. Who are you? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> and now, for the first time in this entire exchange, Jolene and I are on the phones at the same time. So I can see the ellipsis as she's typing. I'm very aware that there's another person on the other end of this. It's taking her much longer than it needs to for what eventually comes through, and what comes through is heartbreaking. What's your name? You owe me that much. <laughs> you are all retroactive accomplices as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it doesn't end in laughter. It ends with one guy in the balcony going, what? And then everyone just feeling weird about privacy. which is a much more nuanced feeling to aim for than just general enjoyment. <laughs> Jolene is the hero of this story, the hubris of me, essentially a middle-aged person, being like, oh, I'll just have a bit of fun against a millennial on the internet? <laughs> it's their world now. I'm Deanne Smith, good night.